Hello, comrades. Welcome back to Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. My name, of course, is Open Potato. Booyah, we're back. Thank you, as ever, to everyone who left a comment on the last video. Uh, we got quite a quite an episode lined up today, actually. A couple of really, really, really important things that I would absolutely love to get done. Uh, hence why we're sort of starting in Turistovsky, uh, just to, you know, hopefully set the episode up, uh, up right. Now... I am determined. I am absolutely categorically determined to get a bridge in here somehow. I, I don't know how it's going to fit, but we we frankly have to make it fit, and so that is indeed what we're going to be doing for the first uh, for the first for the first little bit of this said episode. The other thing that I am also really determined to do is get some form of chemical production facility up and running over the course of this episode as well. Now, how possible that's going to be? Uh, Depends. I I think that there is a good chance that we're going to be able to do it. However, that being said, uh, can we maybe yeah, something like that. I'm trying to make a uh, what do you call it? Uh, a little bypass road here. So we will do this, and then we'll try and yoink this out of here maybe before some other vehicle comes through. Uh, do do this. This is a. This is a this is an old trick right here. There we go, and then delete this little bit in the middle. Delete that bit there, and then hopefully that should allow the uh, the buses to still take the uh, to, to still take the route around, which should be just fine by my calculations. Ditch that, ditch that, ditch that. Cool. Uh, you should still be able to find a way. Indeed, that should be that should be very very easy, and then we'll just be able to, to bridge across here. Anyway, yes, chemicals. So chemicals are uh, chemicals are interesting. Actually, the reason that chemicals are interesting is there's two ways to make them. There's two ways to make chemicals in this game. Uh, at least there is now. Uh, we have the modded chemical structure, the huge chemical plant, which is my preferred way of going about doing things. The reason being is that it only requires crops and oil to make. Or, alternatively, we could be using the, uh, where is it, the oil fuel bitumen chemical plant here, which requires gravel, wood, crops, and oil, which mm, I don't really like the sound of getting all of those components together. It is slightly better, I think, to produce it this way, but... Boy, oh boy, oh boy, it's a lot more challenging, and it's a lot more complex. So, if we do want to go down that route, we're going to have to be, you know, absolutely dead certain that we've got uh, we've got all of the components in place before we, before we go for it. Right, let's get this bridge in place uh, immediately, shall we? A concrete, a concrete bridge sounds, sounds grand to me. Uh, okay, angle of connection is too sharp. Well, that's somewhat of a pain in the backside actually uh cancel this road here and then try again a uh, concrete bridge or a prefab bridge uh, to be honest it's much of a muchness really however it's too steep still hmm. somewhat surprising that that's too steep let's see if we can try and make the angle a little bit more forgiving I can already tell this is not going to work. I am, I'm like 90% sure this isn't going to work. Okay, unless we're able to cheese the super high angles like we, uh, like we used to be able to. I doubt it. Man, even that is still too darn high. Although that might be enough. Oh my goodness, that's enough. Uh, I'm going to maybe ask for a little bit more here. Maybe we can just go straight down. Oh my goodness. That is very, very surprising to me that that is high enough. Uh, that is not a clearance rate that I would really anticipate, to be honest, but there we go. Anyway, um, we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna see if we can try and build this ourselves. It's optimistic that it's not gonna disrupt traffic too much. I suspect that it's probably gonna have a, a series of knock-on delays, but that is okay. All right. So, chemicals. Chemicals, chemicals, chemicals. The thing about chemicals is that the huge chemical plant requires a lot of crops and a lot of oil. A lot, a lot, a lot of oil. I mean, if you look at the ratio of oil that we need, right? It's Sure, it's unrefined oil. It's 50 tons of oil to 5 tons of chemicals. Basically, 1 ton of oil to 1 chemical. Whereas, if we look at the ratio uh, through here, 
Uh, da -da -da. Chemical plant, 0 0.81 to 1.2 tons of oil. So, basically, it's 10 tons of oil to produce one chemical, one ton of chemical for the large plant, and it's, I don't know, like 1.5 tons. So, you know, things are... It's definitely better if we can. It's definitely better if we can to use the smaller, the smaller plants. Problem with the smaller plants is that they also just don't give us the scale that we really need. We need to get a decently large number of small plants. These chemical plants require 60 workers, whereas the larger ones can take up to 500. I'm, I'm torn. I really am, because gravel is very easy to provide for, as is wood. Crops also requires barely any crops. But I think we're going to still try and stick with the big ones. But that will have that will have knock on knock on consequences because Krudnovsky is already strapped for oil as is. I mean, we just we have no oil. We have no oil coming in here. So we're gonna need to find some way to get more oil through Krudnovsky uh, and and get it refined or indeed just move it along. Because at the moment we've got two hundred something people here and we're using a fraction of the production percentage. So you know we could definitely be making. Uh, oil much more efficiently. That being said, I've just had an idea. I've had a classic orbital potato idea. I've had a classic orbital potato idea. So, my idea as it stands is to maybe think about expanding this industrial estate over here. Now, hear me out. The reason being, the reason being is that we don't actually need that much croppage. Even if we use the huge chemical power plants, huge chemical power plant, what am I talking about? Huge chemical plant requires 12 tons of crops, maximum production per workday. It's actually not that large. Uh, we do, however, need a large number of people, and the large number of people can come from this, from this station up here. Now, what about... What about one of these right over yonder? I think this is probably going to be our best bet of making this area work. And following that up, by the way, with a secondary, a secondary huge power plant over here. I mean, if we need to, right, we can always, we can always just take this road down and move it somewhere else. But I actually think that this is probably, this is probably far and away the best for us. The only issue really is walk distance. Yeah, let's let's make sure that walk distance is okay. And then let's also ditch this. And we'll redo this road in, you know, a, a position that is a little bit more accommodating. Get this area moved down. Move it a little bit further across. Thank goodness that we've got the bulldozers here ready to go. Uh, this could be a bit of a pain in the backside because of road access. Uh, I suspect we might not be able to place a road in here because of the level. Or if we are able to place a road in here, it's only... Oh, okay, all right. Tell a lie. We're able to place two roads in here. That's pretty darn good. Uh, the other thing that we need to consider, of course, is the factory connections. And I got to be honest, the factory connections make me want to weep. Uh, the amount of reliance on bulldozers that we are going to have to have is, is huge, uh, actually. I really dislike it. Let's build that. I, I, I don't love it, but it's it's okay. Uh, the next thing that we want to consider is is the freaking pipeline. I mean, how on earth we're going to get oil over here? I have I have no idea. Actually, tell a complete lie. I I have an idea. I have an idea. It's it's just insane. Uh, it's it's an orbital potato idea. That's for sure. Anyway, so that's crops. That's crops taken care of. That should be oil taken care of. Kind of. We'll talk a little bit about it later on. Uh, do I just want to build this manually? I kind of do. I kind of do. It's going to be a little bit expensive. What is it going to cost? 239,000 rubles. You know what? Actually, straight up, just give me a give me a dollar a dollar expense here. There's no real reason to get a second uh, huge chemical plant up and running yet. At least, I don't think there's a reason to, to, to worry about that. We'll, we'll stick with this for now. It's going to take ages anyway, so let's get that. Let's get that up and running. Let's get that started. We can worry about the finances later on. Okay. Here's the idea. Here's the idea that I had, which is kind of a little bit crazy, I know, but I, I kind of like the idea uh, a lot. What if we stick? What if we stick? This is assuming, by the way, that we're going to be able to increase our oil production in Krudinovsky. What if we stick the oil, the unrefined oil, literally onto a barge? Literally onto a barge and just ship it down, down, down here, down here, into here. 
and then into a massive tank facility in this in this area here and then we just pipe it across across land i think that's kind of wild and i kind of love the idea that we could be doing something like that so you know what let's let's actually let's entertain that idea even if it is just briefly uh, so there are oil deposits around the place i mean where do we have oh, there's not many oil deposits near to where we are is it actually hold on where's where's potato grad potato grads over potato grads over here so there's like an oil patch right here on this side of the mountain maybe you know what maybe we don't even faff around with that there's also a big old oil patch literally right under this facility here maybe we're going about this the wrong way around you know maybe it's a case of we need to keep it simple stupid maybe we just have a little look at what the oil deposits are around oh i kind of like this this is this is a very very soviet approach to to industry right we literally just get ourselves a couple of pump jacks around here and then we're we're gonna check if we can connect them all up together and make it all work and oh i actually kind of love this well i actually love this a lot now that's obviously a bit of a difficult uh, area to access but that's fine pump in there yeah, we could maybe ditch this field in the future, but that's okay. Uh, we also have oil coming through here, so why don't we see if we can get a few bits and bobs down in this vicinity. Okay, get that moved around a little bit. There we go. Cool. Well, I actually don't hate that. I don't hate that at all. I mean, building these manually is is just fine with me. Uh, should we get oil fuel storage? I think we should. I think we should. Let's let's do that. Let's plonk it down right about there. All right. So next thing that I want to get immediately is a reconnection of this line right over there. Let's get that reconnected because that is probably quite a significant amount of stuff that has been power deprived for a little while. It's okay, though. Uh, also, we need to get better forklifts, and I know that we can get better forklifts. There is a modded forklift that I have installed, but it's still pretty bad. We maybe need more forklifts. Also, uh, there's some shenanigans happening here where livestock is being moved via forklift, which is just a ridiculous image in and of itself, is being moved over to here, even though there is already a connection. Uh, I mean, what if we just disconnect this? Because we don't need it, right? We don't need it. There is livestock that is being output this way as well. But, I mean, we only really want to input crops here. What if I just change this around? Right, so the farm, we don't want to load anything at the farm. Right? Actually, hold on. Remove all connections. Remove all connections from both of these facilities. This is, this is getting too complicated. We literally just want to take meat from here. From the slaughterhouse. Load meat. And then take it to here. Meat storage. Unload. Don't even load anything. Just unload meat. Yeah. That's pretty much all that we care about. Oh, actually, no. Tell a light. There is something else. But we will do it with the other forklift. We're going to unload wheat. Do not load anything. And then head back to here. And load grain. There we go. Okay, so that should mean that everything is just working a little bit more efficiently because I'm a little bit worried that, yeah, we're not able to export as much meat as we need to be able to export. And I don't know how much meat we're actually able to carry on each and every individual forklift, but yeah, it's barely anything. It's barely anything. And we shouldn't be wasting our time carrying livestock between two different points anyway. Yeah. All right, that's, that's looking pretty darn good. I'm a little bit happier with that. No workers. Building is without a power supply. Is that seriously without a power supply? All right. Well, we'll we'll deal with that in just a second. What's going on? Okay. Extra vehicle. Fire destroyed a building. Krudinovsky prefab flats. Uh. Oh yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's totally, totally, totally fine. Uh, we don't live here anymore, or we don't we don't operate here anymore. That's that's just fine. Okay. So, without further ado, let's get that done we will do these but we will do them after i get a pipe
pipeline system set up in here. Now, if we go into modded pipe engines, is there any chance that perhaps there is a decent one for me? I don't actually think that there is. The forwarding pump is really, really nice. It's actually a really great bit of kit. I, I like it a lot. We'll need to get one of these for sure. Yep. Get that in there. And... There we go. Up here, down there, into there. Cool. Alrighty, and then we will just have, what, like two or three of these stations? Something like this. Can we maybe make this auto-build? Yes, although I will actually auto-build this with dollars so that we can automatically get everything set up in a nice functional manner. And... Then let's untick that so that we can, again, try and fix things. Okay, that goes in there. And then... And that goes in there like so. Now, this needs to be redone, admittedly. Uh, you know, we need to make sure that we get an appropriate amount of ground clearance there. But this is this is not too bad. I'm, I'm not too displeased with this at all. Yeah, so ground clearance needs to be very much larger than it is at the moment and this is i mean principally for f for fire access there we go that's looking good too okay let's build all of that and then we will see if we can maybe connect too steep of a descent i mean that's very surprising to me honestly Okay, video game, if you insist. Too steep for descent. Right, I mean, look, that will connect. It's just going to take a little bit of effort. And uh, frankly, let's just get the easy stuff connected up right now. There we go. Uh, this can go round about that way. It's ugly, but it works. And then this will also work at some point. Come on. There she blows. Usually if we do it in small enough chunks, it'll... It'll just work. That's the trick to building roads in real life, too. If you just do it in small enough chunks, eventually it'll work. Uh, okay, so that's looking spicy. Can I get a pipe connection... I totally can get a pipe connection along here. Too long? Okay, all right. Well, that's... I mean, that's a... I mean, literally millimeters here we're talking. What about that? There we go. Perfect. All right, so get that built. This is going to absolutely categorically wipe out our dollar uh, stats, but that's just fine. We'll get all of the pipe built, and then we will worry about everything else. We will fund the forwarding pump. No input connection. There will be an input connection in just a sec. There is no input connection. Did that actually connect up? I sincerely hope that that actually connected up. Otherwise, I am going to be miffed to the highest degree. Get all of the infrastructure built, all of the infrastructure built, and then we will start building the pumps. There we go. There we go. Nice. Okay, I mean, look. We're a little bit, we're a little bit less well off, but at the end of the day, don't think we can really complain too much. Uh, is there a, there is a facility over here. However, is that facility, it's got a little bit of, it's got a little bit of spare capacity. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. What about, however, what about high voltage capacity, eh? Oh, it totally does. Oh, well, this is, this has got me interested. High voltage capacity right out here. Boop that down there. Let's get a power transformer. I'm only going to use a basic power transformer this time because I know for a fact that this is going to be the last the last power transformer that we're going to have in the area. Uh, any further power transformers, and we should almost certainly try and uh, get another bespoke, uh, another bespoke line. 
uh, from the power plants. Okay, now, are we going to be able to get this done with just one... With just one connection? Or is it going to be a little bit over-encumbered? Let's have a little look, shall we? 46%? Okay, that's, that's plenty. That's great. Okay, is this all working? It's all working. Look at that. We got oil. We got oil. All right, so is that going to be more than 50 tons a day itself? Potentially, if it is, great. If it's not, then we're going to have to add additional capacity with these, what, like five pumps that I've already zoned, which is, uh, you know, worth considering. We, we may have to may have to think about uh, more capacity at some point, but it's, it's okay. Forklift facility. Let's get a forklift garage over here. And then we will build this as well. Boop and boop. And suddenly I'm out of dollars. I mean, look, that, that does tend to happen when you spend, you know, millions and millions and millions of dollars making everything work in a, uh, in a nice tight fashion. But I'm sure we're going to, I'm sure we're going to make more pennies at some point soon. The problem is that we're still continuing to buy in a whole bunch of coal. That's the, that's the real problem. All right, by the way, you can go to there, start, fine. Set that off. When am I going to be finished with this train facility, for goodness sake? Can I uh, assign more construction offices? Like, I have absolutely no idea why this is not happening. Also, look at this. This is a jet train. This is a modded vehicle that I have. Also, there comes my uh, steel train delivery. Wonderful. Good stuff. Boat is almost done. Well, as almost done as 63,000 workdays away from being completed. But that's fine. Don't worry about it too much. Uh, matadors are continuing to be pumped out. We just need more workers, honestly. We just need more workers. More workers from Turistovsky, please. That would be... That would be El Grando. That would be really, really, really nice. Either way, Potato Grand will grow just a little bit. Let's add the extra forklift capacity over here. And the forklift job is going to be literally taking from here to here. That's it. That is literally it. Now, is the... Is this within walk distance? It's not, but it will be within walk distance if we nab a path. And that goes down there. Now, is it within walk distance? It absolutely categorically is. That's great. And it's still on unspecified, so I suspect that we're probably going to get a little bit of activity over here. Great, but that's going to be crops taken care of. Nice. So, oil is very simply going to be connected up to here. It's going to be connected up to here. Oh, boy. This is actually a little bit uh, a little bit of a messy one, but it's okay. I can just about make do. All right. Up, there, down, and then you just trace the root of the road. As much as as much as you can. Overlaps with the existing construction. Hmm. Is that because of the because of the power pylon by any chance? Hey, that works. That works and that works a charm. Okay, let's fund that with rubles, I guess then. Fund that with rubles. Fund that with rubles. This is almost certainly gonna be powered. Yep, that's almost certainly gonna be powered. Everything else should be grand, with the exception of the huge chemical plant not having power. How much power does this consume? 21 megawatt hours. It's quite a lot. There's no high voltage connection, is there? There's no high voltage connection. Okay. Build it. Build it. Build it. Build it. All right. We should be we should be off to the races. We should legitimately be making chemicals. Uh, are we going to have enough crop supply, or are we going to are we going to need something else? I have no idea. I have no idea what's going to happen. It's it's a mystery. Uh, what I do know is that I still hate factory connections purely because the forklifts are so freaking weak. They're just garbage, aren't they? They're actually so bad. Look at the amount of chemicals that we're making. Holy cow! That's a decent amount of chemicals. Uh, where the bleeding heck are we going to take the chemicals? That's the question. 
that is the question. That's the real question on everyone's minds. Uh, is there, like, an output connection somewhere that we can maybe set it up to? I mean, here's my plan. If I ditch this, if I ditch this, ditch that, ditch that, then plonk down maybe not even necessarily a large storage facility? Large will do, actually. Large will do. Sure. Fund that, fund that. Boop. 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 Need to do some funkiness over here. That's worth it, though. All right, and then we will set this up as the export spot to there. Cool. We want to unload at the warehouse. We only want to load chemicals. Uh, I only want to unload chemicals, should I say. Okay, so that's chemical production. And honestly, it's better than I could have ever dreamed. We are already making quite a significant number of chemicals, and that's really great. That's really, really great. Is it going to be enough oil, though? That's my only hesitation. I suspect not, but I might be wrong. I might, might, might be wrong about that. It does look like it's increasing at the moment, but of course we we will be getting more workers. And when we do get more workers, that's going to be uh, that's going to be a problem. The other thing to consider is when this huge chemical plant comes online, the second one, uh, then that's going to be... I mean, that's going to be even better. Now, the pollution in this area must be gargantuan. Must be huge. Must be freaking massive. But that's that's just fine with me. Man, this area is, is busy. Since we've decided to start auto-buying uh, crops, everything seems to be working much more efficiently. The problem, again, is that we just can't move the outputs. We can't move the food out fast enough. We cannot move the meat out fast enough. And so we're just wasting so much production. So I, I hope that that's not going to be replicated with chemicals. I have no idea how much... There we go. Limit amount. I have no idea how much, uh, how much chemical can be transported on each and every one of these little forklifts. Probably not very much. 0 0.53 tons. Yes, well, that's interesting. That is interesting. It's also terrible. Large coal power plant? Oh my goodness gracious me. Um, That's a fire. That's a fire if I ever saw one. Uh, that is going to completely destroy so many production processes. Please get this fire fixed quickly. Thankfully, the firefighters are on the way. Just means that this entire thing is not going to be producing an iota of power until we can categorically extinguish the fire. But thankfully, it shouldn't take too long. All right, firefighters are on site. I mean, the progress of the fire isn't really showing up here. Oh, there we go. It's done. Well, that was that was good. Uh, I'm surprised that it was that quick, but I'm delighted that it was, I guess. Cool. Uh, okay, back to potato grand, back to chemicals. So, 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 so. Are we exporting chemicals here? We're not exporting chemicals here. Resources missing crops. How the bleeding heck are we not able to transport enough crops? Okay, you know what? Don't do this. Don't, don't do this. Just literally load crops unload crops that's fine do we just need many 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 more forklift is that is that really the crux of the problem here I mean frankly I think that it might be they're just so bad forklifts are just so freaking bad maybe I'm not auto purchasing fuel or something like that is that is that what's stopping them that is, yeah, some vehicles are without fuel. Uh, I thought as much. Okay. Cool. Okay, so that will allow all of these to work. Great. Let's get some more. 
those. Cool. So let's just get you set up to work there to there. Nice. Fun that. We'll probably have enough rubles, right? Yeah, sure. Probably nothing to worry about, eh? There we go. Looking, looking good. We are exactly at a dollars. Resources missing crops. We get the crops sorted, please. We should be able to sort the crops. There is a little bit of congestion on the forkway front, but that's okay. That is, that is just fine with me. That is just fine with me. We can just about, just about tolerate this. Actually, tell you what, the smart thing to do would be to have like a warehouse in here. So we could like keep the two forklift like routes separate and maybe therefore speed up how quickly things are transported. I have absolutely no idea if that would go any way to fixing our problems, but it's okay. Either way, look at this. Good news is that we've got uh, we got some chemicals coming through here. Even if it isn't the most efficient process, it's it's working. It's working, gosh darn it, and that's something to be happy about. Let me take out a little million dollar loan for like half a year. There we go. Dollars and rubles. Just to keep us going more than anything else, I don't suspect that there's going to be many more major purchases, at least in the immediate short term. Uh, if there is, we will be fine. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? The warehouse that I literally just placed down has already caught on fire. I mean, that is remarkable. Okay, you know what thing is, though, is that this can easily be rectified. The way that this is easily rectified... Oh. Fine. Fine. And then... Oh, we can't even get that connection over there. That's fine. That's, that's okay. So is this going to fix the problem? Hey, look at that. What do you know? Dispatch the firefighters. Good stuff. And now we just have to hope that we're going to be able to be there in time. Are we? I have no idea. I will, however. I will, however, do this. And that probably shows exactly how concerned I am that we're not going to be there on time. Although, to be fair, it looks like we will. Looks like the, the pace of the fire has somewhat slowed down, which is uh, which is kind of nice. Okay, so we're making chemicals now. This is great. We're moving the chemicals over to the facility over here, which hopefully will not burn down uh, in just a second. Should be two engines heading across here. And we should be able to extinguish the fire fairly easily. Fairly easily, he says, with a degree of confidence. Do we only have one engine here? No, we got... We got four engines in the Potato Grad fire station, and yet here we are just not putting the fire out super quickly. It'll be done in a second. Come on, come on, video game. Just 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 get it done. Just get us done. Just get it done. Just move on. Move on with all of our lives. We're holding we're holding an appropriate amount of chemicals there. That's fine. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. So ten tons of chemicals is is just grand. Here's the thing. Here's the thing we need to consider. Where do we actually need chemicals? So chemicals aren't part of Stalnoy at all, are they? No. They are not. They are only really part of Illuminov. But they are part of both... Yeah, they're part of both processes. Now that's an interesting thing to consider because there is maybe a chance... Oh, there's no factory connections to this place. Right. There presumably is a conveyor connection. Yeah, there's a conveyor connection over here. That will allow us to import the bauxite and then the coal as well. Because we need coal and chemicals. Hmm. So this is interesting. This is interesting. This is interesting. I think what we're best doing... I think what we're best doing is straight up just getting a regular drive route set up. Do you do chemicals? You do do chemicals. Do I have any spare trucks? I have one spare truck here. That's perfect. Okay, trash this. You go from here. 100. Wait until loaded. You can take 3.9 tons of chemicals. Uh, that's basically nothing. Can I have 
a bigger covered hull truck, please? I don't even think we do have a bigger uh, covered hull truck. We categorically do not. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll build, uh, we'll buy a couple more. Six seems pretty reasonable. Anyway, load 100% of the chemicals over there. Then let's move right over to yonder. And then we will set up a warehouse over here, which may seem a little bit silly. Fine. Build. Then we'll get a small distribution office. And then we will basically set up one truck that will go between the two, uh, between the two facilities. And we'll make sure that there's a, a connecting road as well. Crossing not allowed? Ah. There's the path. That's, uh, that's just fine. Okay. So... Let's do, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, load 100% of chemicals. Wait until loaded. And this is going to reduce our costs somewhat. Not entirely sure that it's going to be... Uh, actually, don't wait until unloaded. Not entirely sure that it's going to be super cost effective. It's going to take a long, term, uh, long time for it to pay for itself, I imagine. But, I mean, look, it's definitely a worthwhile investment. There we go, and it should be relatively easy to move all of these chemicals across. There's a road connection. There's a fairly direct road connection as well. In terms of my road connections, it seems to be pretty pretty direct, sort of following the coastal road along here, along here. Yeah, there's a, there's a bridge, which is very weird, given that there's a land bridge right next door. Ah, whatever. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It, you know, the, the fact remains, there is a route. Then we're going to yoink something in here. We're going to just get, I don't know. I guess it can be an SKD covered facility. Load, unload, boop, boop, boop. That's it. That's it. That is literally, that is literally all that we are required to do. Now, this process still needs coal. And the thing about coal is that we are making it. We are making it, and we're making it in fairly large quantities. The other thing to consider is that we have coal. We have coal coming in here. We have a coal route. We have a massively, ridiculously long train route that swings fairly close by to the coal facility over here. Uh, or to the coal needing facility over here, I should say. So maybe it is worth considering diverting a little bit of coal. With that in mind, though, is it is it really? I I don't know about that. Also, we are maxed out in aluminium here. Uh, what the bleeding heck am I supposed to do with aluminium? Uh, we need to do something fast. Uh, okay, uh, medium distribution office, I guess. I sincerely did not think that we would come up against this anytime soon. I suppose it makes sense, though, because, I mean, it's bound to happen, right? Okay, build it. I presume it's uh, open hull trucks that move aluminium? I don't know. I've never built aluminium before. This is so exciting. This is so unbelievably exciting. Uh, if we can get a big mass truck to do it, then that would be great. If not, no biggie. That's that's fine. Uh, we need a power supply for this harbor. We also need something for this harbor to export. In an ideal world, it would probably be raw bauxite. But we'll need to think about that. We'll need to think about that. I mean, this setup is 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 just a little is just a little crazy actually uh, and needs to be and needs to be amended we need more conveyors in here as crazy as that sounds to say we definitely need more conveyors uh, because at the moment we are limited with regards to the transfer rates we've got like what 10.5 tons being moved at any one time and that is not enough it needs to be needs to be more we need more bauxite transport capacity we must we must make more okay how much does the maz do Oh boy, here I go spending all my freaking rubles again, eh? Okay, add new connection, add their storage percent above 10. Then, <laughs> actually, what is the, how much can it store? 28 tons. Uh, let's say 30%. Yeah, so that should allow each and every truck that goes and collects from it to be full, I think. 
Uh, right, then after that, we're going to say, boop, come down. Come down here. Unload. If storage percent is below 90. We're also going to say... Yeah, we're going to address this. We're going to turn it into more of a 40-60 sort of affair here. Yep. And is that immediately going to start some of these some of these rolling? Aluminium. Load. There we go. Now, is that good enough? Is that... Is that a happy situation? I mean, it's good enough in the short term. Look at that. We are literally just about to max out aluminium oxide uh, production or storage, I should say, in the dry bulk storage area. And so then we are going to stop being able to export aluminium, which is just fine, or aluminium powder. But now we will collect it up and we will take it away. And that should save the day. Good stuff. What's going on down here? Oh, that'll definitely be extinguished. For sure. No chance in heck that that's not fixed, right? He says, famous last words. Uh, the fire engines have got a clear... Fire engines have got a clear run. New vehicles available? I think that's a modded vehicle, if I'm not mistaken. Looks pretty cool. Looks very, very cool indeed. Okay, yep. Clear run. Right down to the construction office. That is... That is great. Uh, okay, the thing is, is that we need to sell, we need to sell this aluminium, and the reason that we need to sell the aluminium is because aluminium is worth an absolute ton. Can we, can we sell it to the border, maybe? How do we get it over here? I mean, there is a... There is a fuel station somewhere here, isn't there? Is it on this road? I don't I don't even know how on earth we're supposed to get <laughs> how on earth we're supposed to get our resources all the way over there. I mean that's that's bonkers. That is bonkers. Uh but I mean needs must I suppose, right? Like we we need to need to do it. Okay. Sell there. Good stuff. All right. See if that works. Okay. Undoubtedly, we are going to see our vehicles run out of fuel, but that's okay. Chemicals have started to arrive, by the way, which is very, very exciting indeed. And at that point, we should see the chemicals being delivered into this area right here. Are we going to be able to keep up with the demand for chemicals with just one singular truck? We might struggle. We might struggle with that. We might need to get... Might need to get a second truck in, in this small distribution office here. Tell you what, why don't you... Go and work at that small distribution office there. This is the one. Should turn around once we... Yep, hit there. Fine. And that'll just allow us to move chemicals a little bit more quickly. Chemicals are just this funny thing, right? You can move such a small quantity of them that it always just surprises me. But I don't get it. It's fine, though. All right. And just like that, just like that, we have freed up a whole bunch of aluminium from our facility. $125,000. Also, look at the value of this aluminium. The West apparently is... Aluminium is in high freaking demand. I, I have no idea why, but uh, but there you go. Now, the route that these trucks take will be particularly interesting. And by the route that they take, I, I mean it'll be interesting to see where they run out of fuel. Because we could maybe look at rectifying that. I say maybe look at rectifying that. We have to look at rectifying that. It's either that or we try and ship them, ship off the aluminium via boat? Is that maybe an option? I don't even know if we have a boat connection to the west. Do we have a boat connection to the west? We don't, but I, I tell you what, I like the idea of long-term anyway, um, moving aluminium by boat much more than I do like the idea of moving it by, by truck. 
So we have a route to the west this way. It is just miles and miles away, though. It would be quicker. Actually, is, is that maybe a lie? Would it maybe just straight up be... It's pretty much right in the middle of the map, right? Maybe technically quicker going to the Soviet side by, like, a bit. This is the Soviet side down here, by the way. This is Potato Grad. This is the route that they actually take, the boats take. But, I mean, not by much. It's, I mean, this is the very, very center point of the map. And we'd be building a brand new harbor, like, here. Yeah, you know what? I think we should start construction of a brand new harbor. Specifically to take aluminium to the, to the west. It's just so much more sensible. Rather than moving it via, via a uh, truck. Cargo harbor, medium, cargo harbor, small. Hmm. Yes, the problem, the problem that we have is that there is a rather high concentration of harbors already here. Not really in love with this area, to be honest, for yet another additional harbor, but uh, I guess we're going to have to. Wait, hold up. Do we have... Oh, no. Do we? Have... Oh, we totally have a nuclear bulldozer here. All right, well, I guess I love this area for making harbors now. Uh, aggregate loading? Nope. Cargo harbor medium? Uh, sure. I also still... We can still export vehicles via harbor now. That's not something that you used to be able to do. Pretty exciting. Okay, let's build that. And let's get it built with dollars, maybe? No, we'll build it with rubles, and then we'll just take out another massive ruble loan. You know what I said about not having any, uh... Not having any more... Not having any more massive loans? Yeah, apparently I'm just, you know, a filthy liar. Okay, and then let's get a open storage yard. Like, right in here. This is not going to be a super complicated setup. Uh, can we... No. If there's a will, there's a way. Hey, we found we found the way, so... That's good, at least. Boop. 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 Nice. Okay, auto-purchase some fuel right over here. Uh... Auto-purchase fuel over here as well. Not like it particularly matters at this moment in time. We can worry about that later on. Uh, power supply will need to be sorted. And then, you know those Maz trucks that we sent on a wild journey? Uh, we will remove the customs houses, the connection, immediately and just get it set up here. We'll set up to unload. There, less than 90%. Sure. Yeah. All right. Great. Well, I have no idea if the trucks are going to survive on their journey to the border. Almost certainly they won't. Uh, did they? Oh, they've run out of fuel here. Did they? It looks like they unloaded their their um, their steel load. Their steel load. Their aluminium load. Fifty tons of aluminium. Yeah. I mean, you are cruising on exactly zero fuel, so I'm not entirely sure how good for the engine that is. I mean, either way, it's it's nice. It's really, really nice. I mean, look at the value. Look at the value. That is omega, mega, mega money. I mean, if we have a little look at dollar export, aluminium, $373,000. This is, this is it. I, I never realized how desperate the West was for aluminium. Now I know. Now I know. I've seen through the Matrix, and that's exciting. Chemicals are now being entirely uh, supplied by ourselves, which was, I mean, somewhat of a massively quick turnaround. I hope that there are no chemical supply issues over in Potato Grads, but, I mean, kind of doubt it. It's pretty, 
pretty easy process to to get right plenty of crops plenty of oil actually a little bit of excess oil there building up that's cool we've got 21 tons of chemicals at the warehouse everything seems to be fairly well balanced to be honest yeah i i don't hate that i don't hate that at all we're getting a decent number of workers coming through as well in fact we might actually yeah we straight up just need to get more trains right straight up need to get more trains 175 workers yeah so they are waiting on the station for a little bit too long uh, of, a, of a time but it's close it's close maybe a few more of these of these orange trains would be good or maybe i just maybe i just caught them at a bad time certainly replacing these trains the 82 capacity trains the tram t2 with the better models would be a great idea also there were a couple of comments saying that this area needs a second university i don't think that it needs a second university i i think that sincerely we can educate almost everyone if we only got more staff and for the life of me i cannot figure out why more people are not wanting to go and work at the university people just seemed seem absolutely determined to 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 get on the train platform and go to work and yet it's kind of not super efficient uh it's still great because now that we've got chemicals here it's, it's it's a worthwhile it's a worthwhile career pursuit to uh you know work at the chemical factory instead of the instead of the university uh but there is you know there's obviously a bigger upside to to having the university here and the upside is that we get uh we get smart people everywhere smart people freaking everywhere and that's what we're and that's what we're kind of after i think it's the staff that we need more of right but everyone just wants to be a professor apparently instead of being a member of staff maybe part of the problem is that we don't have enough people that just aren't highly educated is that actually potentially the problem could very well be uh and if that is the case then that is highly ironic highly 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 ironic potato grad is looking good though potato grad is looking great is it ever going to be the largest population center on the map probably not is it always going to be somewhat exciting and very very cool yes yes it absolutely is it, it is always going to be it is always going to be pretty darn great but i suspect that the the title of largest city will continue to be held by touristovsky i mean potato grid is like half the population half the freaking population that uh, that everywhere else does right financial situation is fine we did have to take out a couple of extra loans however we're pretty much ready to repay a whole bunch of a whole bunch of these loans that's ready to be repaid 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 close close that's ready to be repaid that's ready to be repaid i mean look we we do owe a lot of money don't get me wrong we owe a lot of money and we're still not being offered and you know a super attractive rate but it's not bad it's not bad and if i actually stopped spending for you know a couple of milliseconds then we might actually be we might actually be just fine uh, the other thing that i need to constantly be aware of is that probably yeah probably we've got another plane to sell and so we'll do that also there were a couple of questions with regards to the blueprints so the tu-144 is uh, a fan favorite and one that i absolutely want to build as soon as i possibly can I cannot build it yet. I, I very much want to, but I cannot build it at this moment in time. But as soon as I freaking can, I absolutely will. Uh, you can bet your bottom dollar that I will. Also, is this... This is homegrown aluminium. This is home freaking grown aluminium. I cannot believe it. Am I... Am I confident enough yet to remove the auto purchase? No. No, I'm not. However... Just the very fact that we've got homegrown aluminium over here means that we're going to be, we're going to be making, uh, we're going to be making a lot more money. Right. What is the issue here? Why on earth? No workers or mechanism. Uh, where are the, the bleeding heck are the, the workers coming from? Can we, there we go. Will that make a difference? Yeah, that'll make a difference. There we go. Get it done. Get it done. I was kind of hoping sincerely that I'd be able to get uh, some, you know, trains built at some point. Whether we'll be able to ship them out or sell them, I, I guess we'll have to wait and see. But I was really, really hoping that we'd be able to get trains up and running over the course of this episode. But that has uh, 
has turned into a little bit of a pipe dream, a little bit of a, a little bit of a distance uh, away. I'll tell you what, though, this ship is looking really, really good. We've decreased the number of work days that uh, that go into the ship by twenty thousand over the course of this episode, which is great. It's a really, really good sign. It's looking very complete. Very, very complete. More and more complete by the day. Now, how are our death stats looking? Oh my goodness, look at that. Our death stats are looking great. Our death stats are looking fantastic. This is honestly fantastic news. I am delighted. Delighted at how fantastically everything is coming together here. There's barely any issues. Look at that. Steel is being replenished. Aluminium is still probably the most... Still probably the most difficult resource to move all the way across the map. It is, you know, far and away the largest. So, understandably, it's going to take a little bit of time. I, I think we just need to get more people, right? Like, I think we just need more... I think we just need more people in, in Illuminov. And I've kind of resisted building up this city. Mostly because... I mean, it's not been... It's not been a priority... But, I mean, we have all of the infrastructure here ready to grow it. Uh, we've got the, you know, we've got the shopping center, and that's just fine. We can actually increase the number of people working in it. I'm not going to do that quite yet. Uh, you know, we've got the shopping center here. We've got the large station. We've got, uh, we've got already, already got the university connection. It takes nine students at the moment. It would be good to get better value for money in terms of student transport. Uh, we've already got the, the rail links taking people across to the industrial area. It's literally just a case of numbers. It's, it's just a case of numbers. The the more we're able to get, the merrier I will be. Uh, but you know what? I will have to be merry in the next episode because that is it for now. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much for watching this episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. My name, of course, has been Open Potato. Thanks as ever to the fantastic support over on the Patreon page. Patreon.com forward slash over the potato, thanks to Banana Banana C Senpai and Aurelio for being three twenty-five dollar plus tier patrons. Thank you very much for watching, folks. As I sell this plane to Soviet side, I'll see you next time. Bye.